It is about 600 BC, and the people of Jerusalem are not keeping the commandments of God. Lehi, a prophet, is deeply concerned for their well-being, prays for them, and receives a remarkable vision from God. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Of all. Please hear the words of thy servant Lehi. The heart of thy servant aches for the souls of thy children in Jerusalem. I fear terrible destruction awaits them if they will not turn their hearts from wickedness. Blessed art thou, Lehi, because of thy faith. Ah, Nephi. Please, take him. See to it quickly. Yes, Father. Father, are you well? Yes, thank you. Lehi. Sariah. What has happened? Returning from Jerusalem, I was, I was overcome with the Spirit. I was carried away in a vision, even that I saw the heavens open, and I saw God sitting on his throne. I saw one descending out of the midst of heaven, and his luster. was above that of the sun at noonday. And I also saw twelve others following him. And the first came and stood before me and gave unto me a book, 
As I read, I was filled with the Spirit of the Lord. And many things did I read concerning Jerusalem, that it should be destroyed. What does the Lord want us to do? Great and marvelous are the works of the Lord God Almighty. I know that he will not suffer those who come unto him to perish. He has commanded me to declare the things I have seen and heard to the people of Jerusalem. of Jerusalem. I am Lehi. I have dwelt at Jerusalem all my days. I am a man who fears God. I have had a vision. Even that I saw the heavens open and I saw God sitting upon his throne. Another mad prophet! <laughs> quiet! Quiet! <laughs> I have seen many things concerning Jerusalem that it shall be destroyed, and the inhabitants thereof. You are a fool! <laughs> many shall perish by the sword, and many shall be carried away captive into Babylon, and this because of the wickedness and the abominations of the people of Jerusalem. You should perish by the sword. <laughs> there is a Messiah coming. I do not understand him. The city has many prophets. Why should Father speak up at all? He had a dream. Let him dream his dreams, but let him keep them to himself. Do you not suppose it may be true? Whether it is true or not, it will destroy this family. Layman. What is it, Father? Gather the family. Jerusalem is... Her children are ripe with iniquity. They do not even try to hide the wickedness that is in their hearts. There are many good people who keep the law of Moses. There are others who seek to take away my life. The Lord spake unto me, even in a dream. And the Lord commanded me that I should take my family and depart into the wilderness. Laman, Lemuel, you will prepare the camels for a long journey. How long? One that will not bring us back to Jerusalem. We are abandoning our home. Sam, Nephi. Help your mother to gather all the provisions we will need for our journey. Yes, Father. Father. Please. The Lord has commanded it. Yes, Father. It seems you are correct. Father has indeed gone mad. Quiet. Leave those. But... Father, we, we may need them for trade or for drinking. We have been commanded to take nothing, save it be our family, provisions, and tents. Obey your father, Lemuel. Leave the gold and silver as the Lord commands.
Better. We thank thee for thy mercy in protecting us and delivering us from the destruction of Jerusalem. We pray, Father, that thou wilt guide us through this wilderness and that we will have the faith to follow thee. Why do we have to obey him? He's a visionary man. He led us out of the land of our inheritance. And for what? To perish in the wilderness. We suffer because of the foolish imaginations of his heart. You know not the dealings of that God who has created you. Laman, oh, that thou mightest be like unto this river, continually running into the fountain of all righteousness. And Lemuel, oh, that thou mightest be like unto this valley, firm and steadfast and immovable in keeping the commandments of the Lord. I do not believe that Jerusalem, that great city, can be destroyed according to the words of the prophets. Your hearts are hard, and you are stiff-necked like unto the Jews who were at Jerusalem who sought to take away my life. He is God, and in his great mercy, we are delivered from destruction. If we keep God's commandments, we will prosper. If we do not, we will perish. visit me and it softened my heart I did believe I believe you Nephi
Lord. I come to thee to pray for my brethren. Laban and Lemuel. Their hearts are hard, Lord. Father, I grieve for them. Blessed art thou, Nephi, because of thy faith. For thou hast sought me diligently with lowliness of heart. And inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall prosper, and shall be led to a land of promise. And inasmuch as thy brethren shall rebel against thee, they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And inasmuch as thou shalt keep my commandments, thou shalt be made a ruler and a teacher over thy brethren.